So would you sneak a uh, flask of Chardonnay into a theater to enjoy with some really good popcorn? Yeah. If you're going to sneak wine into a theater, go Chardonnay. Yeah. Hmm. That's kind of cool. Because yeah. I, mean, well, I mean, this is the wisdom we've been searching for. So yeah. many people sneak alcohol into the theaters anyways. Yeah. If you're going to if you're going to yeah. enjoy wine and popcorn, you might as well sneak in some Chardonnay. I think you should name the podcast. <laughs> sneak, sneak Chardonnay into the theater. That's not the only food they serve. That's not the only food they serve at the movie theater either. So yeah. There's all the different candies that you would recommend different wines with. What, what would you pair with snow caps? This, this just got whole next level, bitches. I'll just throw in. I've tried chocolate and wines that I have yet to find anything that, for me, that it uh, fuses well. It's a myth. <laughs> that it the, can or that it can? Yeah, can't. it's one of those myths that, like, that I like that wine and I like wine and chocolate pair well together. Uh, it, 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 it's absolutely, like, it's absolutely horrendous. <laughs> I, I will... <laughs> I will yeah. jump back to something that Carl told me last time, which I mean, it ultimately ends it ends up to what you enjoy. So if someone happens to enjoy chocolate and some type of red wine or something, so be it. If you enjoy it, that so be it. But for the masses, uh, maybe yeah. if they have near, if us humans have nearly the same palate of some similar palate, then I'm going to say from my palate, I haven't ever found anything, any chocolate that goes good with red wine. So hopefully 75% of people, you don't have to go explore it. But I, I could be wrong too. That's... It seems like Carl kind of agrees with me. So with uh, with sweets in general and dessert pairing, uh, the rule is that you want the wine to be sweeter than the dessert. Oh, so I, that's cool. I haven't heard that before. Yeah. So if you like, there are a, a couple of established wines in the world that actually do go very well with chocolate, but it's a dessert wine. It's a fortified wine. Sherry? Um, is that a different game? That's a different game. Okay. I take um, it back. That's okay. I, I retract the sherry. Uh, but sherry is fortified, so that was it was good to jump in there and say that. Well, that there are some versions of sherry that are fortified. Um, but like the port wines. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wines of Madeira. And specifically a wine from this, the southwestern portion of France along the Mediterranean. Uh, there's two villages. One is Rive Salt, and the other was Bagnols. And these make uh, what's called a Vendu Natural, or a fortified wine uh, mm. that's been fortified with neutral grape spirit. But they use uh, Grenache as their grape, where in port they use a blend of six others, mainly uh, the one is uh, Toriga Nacional. And uh, so with Grenache uh, and the way that they produce that, uh, being able to be a sweeter, higher alcohol version, actually melds really well with uh, with the bitterness of chocolate. Oh. So there are some examples that do exist. Uh, you just never see them and never hear anybody talk about it, which is right. a shame, which is a shame. So uh, you, but you I, like to, yeah, I like to recommend some port wine. You got to find some port, yeah, port wine to yeah. put into your flask to go yeah. into yeah. have snow caps with. Yeah. I actually have a good question. Uh, if you were going to do nachos, because that's with that's we're we're eating crackers with cheese, so a nacho is a cracker with a plastic cheese and jalapenos, right? Is there spiciness involved? You have jalapenos going on? Yeah, let's throw some jalapenos on that bitch. Okay. okay. So I would I would look towards. Um, so if I'm in, uh, uh, so my first thought is riesling. Uh, Ooh. Sweetness contrasts the spiciness that helps extinguish that heat on your palate. Mm -hmm. With something as rich as nachos with that heavy cheese, you're going to want a richer style of Riesling in which to be able to match the richness of it. And so when I think about Germany being...